that. Well, for more on this, I'm joined in the studio by journalist and author Tara Kangaloo, who has covered Middle East extensively. Thank you very much, Tara, for coming in. So, as we said, all non-essential US government employees in Iraq are leave in, leaving the country. Why are they pulling out their staff from Iraq? Thank you for having me. Of course, this is another step uh, coming out of Trump's White House in this escalating tension towards Iran. And of course, as you know, Iraq is a very important and strategic country for, for both countries, the U.S. and Iran. Um, of course, you know, uh, both Iranian military and the U.S. military have been active in the country for so long, defeating ISIS. But um, of course, there is no surprise that the United States does not want Iran's expanding influence in Iraq. But as you said, Iraq is a strategic country. So who has more influence over Iraq in this circumstance, especially where do they stand? Uh, uh, right now, um, Everybody knows that Iran has a strong sphere of influence across Iraq. Iran has been uh, a big player in defeating ISIS. And this is important to note that uh, the United States uh, current administration, the Trump administration, also acknowledged that at some point that Iran helped defeat ISIS. But right now, uh, the U.S. is doing everything it can to create tension uh, in the region to uh, put Iran in a negative light and uh, essentially corner them as rogue actors. And it's very easy to do, do, to do so in Iraq, where Iran, like I said, has a very expanded and strong presence. So Iran has made it very clear that they do not seek war here. Absolutely. They do not want war. But the US, we can see that um, the military presence is increasing at the moment. There was also rumors about 100,000 troops being deployed, which uh, Mike Pompeo has denied at, at, at for now, because mm -hmm. we've seen it in the um, press conference yesterday. Today. So, um, where does U.S. stand? The United States, I think, is very divided, as um, uh, is the White House, uh, even. We have uh, John Bolton, who is very keen on starting chaos in the region. But on the other hand, uh, folks who are close to the president don't want another war in uh, the region. So you have Secretary of State Pompeo and John Bolton who want this. But on, on the other hand, there are so many high-ranking officials um, in the Senate, uh, the Congress, but also inside the White House who don't see this as a wise decision. And at the end of the day, I think President Trump uh, will make uh, a decision that would benefit his presidency. And I think that's a key point here. Uh, he campaigned on the promise of not having the United States uh, get involved in uh, foreign wars. He uh, was very adamant in pulling troops out of Syria and, of course, Iraq. So getting into another war in the region uh, goes against a lot of what he campaigned on and will potentially campaign on uh, in the next year of election. Well, we do have to wrap it up here, but thank you very much for that insight and coming in, Tara Kangaloo. Thank you so much.